the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with Quick Hits. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes per show, uh, twice a day to keep you up to uh, date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, Keyshawn Davis just did it. He advanced to the finals. We're going to get into that. But before we do, please like and subscribe. Um, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research. Uh, and recovery to charity that uh, it's near and dear to our hearts here. Um, that's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, it's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Okay, let's get into today's show. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to wait until after the Andy Cruz fight to make sure he was fighting Andy Cruz, and he is fighting Andy Cruz again. Um, Keyshawn Davis looks spectacular. He had a point deduction, and despite that, he still won a unanimous decision. Um, he was dominant. I thought um, he won all three rounds on my card. I know the judges didn't necessarily have that. Um, I thought he was spectacular, and he got better as the fight went on. I thought he probably won the first and definitely won the last two rounds. Um, the third round, he's dominant. His timing is so good. He, he lands his right hand uh, right on the button. Um, I do want to see him come forward a little more. Um, this Cruz fight is going to be really interesting because neither guy really likes to come forward a whole lot. Um, Cruz, the Cuban, uh, was absolutely dominant. He fought an Australian, won every second, won unanimously, won every round, um, on every card. Really, really good stuff. Uh, Cruz, I, I'm being told is 3-0. I believe he's 4-0. I think we need to fact check that. Um, I've heard he's 4-0 against them, but we'll, we'll, we'll look into that. Um, Keyshawn Davis um, and Andy Cruz, this is going to be epic. Um, I, I know Davis's fight was kind of ugly. There was a lot of holding, a lot of grappling. Um, but both guys. And I, I don't, I don't want to just put it on Keyshawn or just put it on the Armenian. There was a lot of holding from both sides. Um, that being said, Keyshawn controlled the action. Keyshawn learned the much better shots. Um, the Armenian just kept coming forward, trying to push him around. Uh, and he kept walking into shots. Uh, but the judging in the Olympics has been so far in favor of the aggressor. They've scored it for the aggressor over the box, over the move, over the guy on the back foot. Um, now you got two guys who like to box off the back foot who can box coming forward. Um, so this is going to be really, really interesting. I'm really, really interested to see how this fight turns out. Um, I'm impressed with Keyshawn a lot. Um, he, he seems to know how to win. He obviously has really good power. His timing on his right hand, his counter right hand, bang, is absolutely perfect. He can fight both ways. Um, like I said, but I do want to see him fight a little more aggressive, a little more coming forward to try to get these rounds. Look, if he gets caught up in exchanges, he's going to win the exchanges because he's the bigger hitter. He's a bigger hitter than Cruz, I would I would think. Um, so if they get caught up in exchanges, he wins those exchanges. He's quick. Uh, so is Cruz. Cruz has beaten him three or four times, whatever it is, um, for a reason. Like, Cruz is spectacular. Cruz has been dominant. Uh, and, and the Cubans are putting a great run. But I, I, I think this guy, Keyshawn Davis, has a real chance to do this to end the streak. Uh, we also got Richard Torres, Jr., uh, coming up tomorrow, I believe. Um, no, 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 no. Well, I guess this is technically Friday, Saturday. I don't know. Uh, he's fighting on Sunday. Uh, so we have both those fights coming up. We got two shots. You know, we have three. Duke Reagan came as close as you possibly could to winning a gold medal without winning a gold medal. He lost a 3-2 decision in the gold medal round. Has to settle for the silver. Um, but he looked really good, too. I, I thought he won the last two rounds. Look, the Duke Reagan fight, all three rounds were close. On my card, he won the last two. I thought Keyshawn won all three rounds. He had a point deduction. Um, I guess 
Yeah, he, he had a point doctor. And despite the point doctor, he still won unanimously. It was a really, really good performance from Keyshawn. Um, I'm glad they didn't take it away from him. Um, but I want Keyshawn, like I said, I want Keyshawn to get a little more aggressive. I think Keyshawn has a real good shot. Uh, I know Andy Cruz is going to be the huge favorite. Everyone's going to pick Cruz to win. And maybe, you know, that's the smart bet. But look, whoever wins this fight between Keyshawn Davis and um, and Andy Cruz is, the, in my book, the fighter of the Olympics, best boxer in the Olympics. Like, these are the two best guys. So whoever wins, right? I mean, and they just happen to be in the same weight class. They both happen to be lightweights, but these are the two best fighters in the Olympics. I really believe that. Um, it, this fight's going to be great. I'm really, really into this fight. Um, I was pulling for my boy Keyshawn. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, let me know what you guys think. Were you as impressed with Keyshawn? Do you think he has much of a chance against Andy Cruz? I think he can win. I really do. Uh, guys, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8, 10 minutes a day. I'll keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, it is August 5th. Um, it's August 6th in Japan. Um, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.